Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your WAP community and more specifically, I'm gonna quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you change the pricing to your WAP community? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you wanna change the pricing in your WAP community anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business and you're using WAP as a place to gather your community, you know you can go ahead and charge whatever the market will bear, whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your WAP account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my WAP account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to go ahead and change the price for your WAP community, here on the left side, you're going to click on dashboard. It looks like a rocket. Okay. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and make sure that you're working in the correct WAP if you have more than one community. I just have the one right here. So next you're going to go ahead and just click on the WAP community. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to see your homepage in your WAP. However, to change the price here on the top right, you're going to click on manage and then you're going to click on manage pricing. If you don't see this for some reason, you can also click right here, manage pricing. Okay. So here is where you can go ahead and add a pricing option. Make sure that you're clicked on active, as you can see right here, not on archived and then click on the purple add pricing option. Okay. So here you can go ahead and choose how you want to price your WAP. You can do a free option right here, or you can go ahead and charge access. So we'll do a paid and then we're going to click on continue. Okay. So now you can choose how you want to charge your users. So you can do a subscription so you can charge them monthly, weekly, or some sort of recurring payment, or you can do a single entry fee. So this one's definitely more popular at the time, but you know your community better than anyone else. So just choose whichever one you think is going to have a better conversion. So I'm going to go ahead and do a single payment and continue. Okay. So here you can go ahead and enter the price. So let's just do 2,500 and then you can change the currency right here. So for me, I work in us dollars, but it looks like they have a huge amount of different currencies and then revoke access automatically after seven days, after three months, after one year. I'm not sure why anyone would revoke access. Maybe it's just going to be, you know, 2,500 you get access for 60 days if you're setting up your payment plan, something like that. Okay. Here on stock, you can go ahead and limit the amount of people to get access to this pricing. So maybe if we're going to do, you know, only three people get access to that pricing, you would put three right here. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and just put unlimited. Okay. Here you can go ahead and set up a wait list for when your group is going to be ready. I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to click on continue. Okay. So here you can go ahead and make the pricing visible on your WAP account. So that way everyone would be able to see this particular offer that you have for 2,500. However, if you're creating a special offer for one specific person or one specific group, you can do this access only via link. So that way, if they don't have the link, they're not going to see that price. So for this group, I'm going to charge 2,500. However, if I have a special set of group or maybe a pre-sale, I can make that available with this one link for maybe half off. So I would do 2,500 divided by two. So 1250. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So as you can see right here, we have set up a pricing option right here. So we can go ahead and share that with this link. Now the link is copied to my clipboard. So anybody who enters with this link, they would get the 2,500 fee, but that's not much of a discount. So let me go back in and edit it and we'll just do 1250 and continue. Okay. So now you can see it's updated. So maybe what I might do on my homepage is I'll set it up to 2,500. However, if I have a special discount group or a discount link, it would drop it down to 1250 for these folks. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to change the price on your WAP community, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.